Hi, this is Dave Mosher with Discovery Channel, and I'm here with Dave Soderblom of the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, Maryland, and we're here at the Age of Stars conference, and uh, we're here to chat about the sun. Can you tell us about the sun? What, what is the sun, and what do we know about it? The sun is the nearest star. It is um, a very typical star in the sense that um, there's a lot of other stars in our galaxy pretty much like it. Um, and it's kind of mid-range. It's a very garden variety star as things go. It is, of course, uh, the source of essentially all energy on Earth and the source of our life. Why is it so important to study the sun? One very practical reason right now is that we know that there is significant global climate change going on. Most of that is attributable to increased greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, but there could be at least some of it that is due to uh, variations in the light of the sun, the energy put out by the sun. And um, it would be kind of nice to understand what the total range of behavior of the sun is as to whether things might get better or worse from that angle. Where did the sun come from? Well, isn't that a good question? We don't know, of course. We don't know uh, where its siblings uh, disappeared to, dispersed to in the galaxy. And there certainly must have been, because we see stars form in localized regions. In other words, stars don't just form by themselves off somewhere. It takes a fair amount of gas and dust. And when, that is, when there's enough of that material for stars to form, a lot of stars form at one time. There is evidence that the sun probably formed in a location very much what Orion looks like today, the star forming regions in Orion. And the reason we say that is that there's evidence from solar system material that there was a massive supernova that went off in the vicinity of the sun about the time it was formed. And that requires very, a very high mass star and that's the kind of thing you only find in a very rich star forming environment like we see in Orion. There's a lot about the sun we know, and there's an awful lot about the sun we do not know. And we certainly don't know, for instance, things about how it might behave in the future. Thanks for watching Discovery Space. For Discovery Channel, I'm Dave Mosher.